Shelby Brayland and I'm going to be doing insulin administration. I'm going to demonstrate an IV push of eight, u or eight units of regular insulin and then I'm going to also hang an infusion of regular insulin after. And so I have gotten my doctor's orders. Uh, it's a 52 year old male with hyperglycemia, allergy of morphine, so I'm aware of that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and look at what I need to give is eight units IV push for the patient's stat. So I'm going to go ahead and get that done right away. I've looked in my MAR. I've done, drawn up my eight mils. I know I c it can be given undiluted, but for ease of giving it over, you know, the time frame, because it has to be given over a minute, it, 50 units or a fraction thereof over a minute is what the drug book stated. So for the ease of giving that, I've drawn up two mils of normal saline and I'm going to pull back on that right now so that I can put my medicine, my eight units in there, which I'm going to do. I'm not really going to do it because this needle's bent and I don't want to hurt myself, but I did put it in there and I've got it all ready. I have gone through my five rights, my right dosage, my or the right drug, the right route, the right patient, the right amount, the right time. And when I'm completely done with all of these things that I'm going to demonstrate, I would also do the right documentation. I'm going to do my um, five rights three, at least three times. When I draw, you know, right before I draw it up, again now, after I've drawn it up, I'm ready to give. And then I'm going to go ahead and do it right before I give when I'm in the patient's room. Um, so when I give this, this two mils, I'm going to give it um, 0.5 mils every 15 seconds for over that minute time frame. And so I've come into the patient's room, washed my hands, identified myself, explained what I'm going to be doing for the patient. I'm going to be giving you um, eight units of regular insulin IV stat because you, you know, your blood sugar is 560. When I, I, what I neglected to say is when I did go and draw up the insulin, I did check to make sure that it was clear. If it wasn't clear, I would not use it, but I just want to make sure that you know that I did check for that. Um, so now I'm ready with the patient. I explained what I'm going to do. I've looked at their wristband and checked it against the MAR. I know that this is the right patient by that, and I'm going to get two more patient identifiers. I'm going to ask them to state their name and their birth date. And so once that's all matches, then I'm going to go ahead and do the five rights one more time to make sure I've got everything that I need. I'm going to go ahead and open up my alcohol wipe, and I'm going to scrub the hub for at least 15 seconds, not only the sides, but also the top. That's important to make sure you do that. Okay. And so now I'm going to go ahead and hook this onto here. And I'm going to time it with my watch, which I don't have on right now. Okay, first, before I put this on, I'm going to go ahead and flush to make sure that this saline lock is good. So before I put that medication on, I'm going to flush with two to three mils. Okay, so I've done that. And then I'm going to go ahead and put my medication on. And over a minute, I'm going to give 0.5 mills. And I'll have a nice discussion with my patient while I'm doing that. When I'm done doing that, I'm going to go ahead and get another flush. And I'm going to hook that up two to three mills. Or I'm going to say I'm going to give um, two to three or two mills and I'm going to do it over a minute. So I'm going to do one mill for the first 30 seconds and then I'm going to do the next mill for the next 30 seconds because it has to be given at the same rate as the infusion that you just gave or the, not the infusion but the push so I'm done with that now my doctor has also ordered for me to hang some IV insulin regular insulin for this patient so I've gone and checked the bag I've checked my orders again I've made sure that I've done my five rights again I've primed this tubing already so it's all ready to go for my patient. And now I've come back in and washed my hands, 
explain to my patient, you know, introduce myself, explained again what I'm going to be doing, and I've checked my patient identifiers again, the wristband, and asked him to state his name and his birth date. And I have come over, getting ready to hang this, get this stuck in here, make sure it's not clamped, unclamped, started my um, machine up. I'm not going to start it now because it's going to probably beep at me, but I'd start it up and then in there I would program. Um, the order is for eight units per hour. This is a 250 unit bag of regular insulin in 250 mils. So I've done my calculations and I know I'm going to give, I'm going to program in here to do eight mils per hour. I'm going to come right again here, open up my thing, scrub the hub again for 15 seconds. Go ahead and hook this up. And I've got it programmed in and I'm going to hit start. I'm going to make sure I stay with my patient and monitor for any reactions that they have. Um, and I'm going to make sure that everything feels fine for the patient and is running fine. And Oh, the antidote, if there was an overdose of this medication, the insulin, I would give glucagon and I would do one to two milligrams um, and I can give it either IM, you know, by pushing, or IM or by sub-Q method to give the glucagon.